Hi guys, we are at Apex Entertainment Arcade here in Syracuse, New York at Destiny USA and this video is going to be a video that compares the DC coin pusher right here versus the Willy Wonka coin pusher of how many tickets it gives you. So how many tickets will we earn? So right now in the comments, put which one you think is going to give us more tickets. The DC coin pusher or the Willy Wonka coin pusher. We're putting 510 plays or 500 plays on each and then we're gonna go from there and see which one gives out more tickets. So I'm just gonna start with the DC coin pusher and we're just gonna rapid fire on both machines. So enjoy this high flying coin pusher action. I'm just making sure it's giving me, yeah, yep. here's you too. So it is giving out tickets. We will, we're not gonna count the cards because that's always gonna be a variable. Uh, and the card prices are different. The amount you get for a full set for the DC cards is more than what you get for a full set of the Willy Wonka ones. So this video, all we're doing is we're just considering the amount of tickets that the machine gives out based on how many tokens fall down into the chute. So we're fast playing, that's all we're doing, and we're just gonna see which one gives out more tickets. What do you think? Um, I don't know, I think we're gonna get more on the Willy Wonka point picture. Yeah, I would say, probably so. That would be my guess, but who knows? The DC coin pusher could surprise us. I'll we'll just see if we get any cards here. I don't think there's any cards that we don't have, though, right. or cards that we need. But also, the problem is, like, even the side and the other side, we uh, they don't even have like cards in the middle. Yeah, they're both kind of, yeah, like this one, they're all on the side. And you want them in the middle for the DC coin pusher. Here there's a couple in the middle, but not many. The manager guy just came over to us and he just, uh, he loaded up our YouTube channel to make sure he was subscribed to the right one. <laughs> he said, is that you? I said, yeah, that's us. Well, he said earlier, he was like, you come to, what did he say to you, us? He said, have you come to break, have you come to break more of my machines? He said, yep. <laughs> So clearly they have fixed the Willy Wonka coin pusher. I doubt we'll be getting 26 golden tickets today. Yeah, see, we told them that yeah. their machine was broken. Besides, it's not like, or they can see all of the stuff on the, uh, when they look at the history of the card, they can see exactly what we played. So I'm sure if they had any suspicion, they would have already checked it out. Yeah. You still have 400 plays left, so about 100 plays in, and no cards, huh? No we haven't won any cards yet, but a couple of them are getting close to falling. We haven't run out of tokens. So. That's good. Yeah, we were having a problem here before where uh, there wasn't enough tokens in the like hopper where it feeds them out. So even though Aoni would get the bonus drop or get five, it would sometimes not drop out any tokens or only give one token. So we'll see what happens here. We'll keep an eye on that and make sure it's giving us the proper amount of tokens. You got a number of tokens to fall in the chute so far. Yeah, they're, they're doing pretty well as far as... And we'll tell you how many tickets we're at uh, after we play each machine. So actually right now, you're up to 226, which is pretty good, I feel like, after 100 plays. So, I don't know. Maybe it will surprise us. Again, it's all dictated about how many fall, how many tokens fall off the machine. So. Oh, oh my. We're getting tokens in Yeah, there. I know. There's a lot of tokens falling into the uh, chute, which we don't necessarily want. We'd rather have them in the machine since you don't get anything for them here. So if you've never played the DC coin pusher before, just so you know, there are two sets. There's a villain set and there is a hero set. And the hero set, you're looking for Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, The Flash, Aquaman, Cyborg, and Green Lantern. And Aquaman is the rare card for the hero set. In the villain set, you got the Joker, you got Darkseid, you got Captain Cold, Lex Luthor, Harley Quinn, the Penguin, and Cheetah. And Darkseid is the rare card for the villain set. It used to be that Captain Cold and Darkseid were both the rare card, but, but we've seen so much yeah, Captain Cold. Captain Cold has really been making an appearance. Because there's actually another Captain Cold in this machine over here to the right as well, and there's one hanging out in the back there. So, and the reason why Aoni is just spamming the machine, you can see she's just pressing the button. She's not focused on any timing or anything. It's because we have found that the better strategy for this game. The DC coin pusher in particular 
is to just kind of just spam it, to just go, you know, rapid fire, fast plays. And we'll do the same at the Willy Wonka Coin Pusher. We'll just be doing a whole bunch of fast plays so we can get through these 500 plays pretty quick and see how many tickets we win. Ooh, that the flash that I got underneath all those cards. You just push a ton of coins forward. Still haven't got any cards to fall yet, but you're up to 400 tickets. So that's good news. Mr. Flash. Mr. Flash is helping out a ton here. Stay right there. <laughs> well, you're just about halfway through on this machine. We're coming close to 250 plays. I think that flash card is going to move up pretty quick because he's underneath all those yeah. coins. Captain Cold is stuck there. Yeah. It seems like. No, no, there's no coins getting behind them to push him off. Wonder Woman might fall. This card right up here in the front. So basically, this coin pusher does operate differently, uh, as you can see, than the Willy Wonka coin pusher. The Willy Wonka one, you can aim the coins wherever you want. This one, what's happening is the coins are falling from the top down between those two little levers there, and they'll drop into one of the things in the middle, either the bonus drop, the one, the three, or the five, and that will dictate how many coins or tokens get shot out of this little arm here, which will go directly onto the playing field. So the setup for this is a little bit different than uh, the Willy Wonka one, but that doesn't really affect how many cards or, or how many uh, tickets, I guess, you should win, so we will see which one reigns supreme. Again, not counting cards, we're just counting tickets here. There, there the you flash. go, the flash. He really helped out there, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, he's kind of stuck in there. Oh, there he goes. So the flash should be dropping out. You see the shoot down there. There, he just kind of fell. And you got 200 plays left, just over 200 plays, so we'll continue with the coin pusher action. A lot of tokens have fallen into that shoot, I'm surprised. Yeah. I wonder if they did put like more. Yeah, because we haven't had any issue running out of anything yet, so hopefully we haven't spoken too soon, but. You spoke too soon. <laughs> Uh, it seems like it's working fine. There's enough tokens in there to yeah. withstand any rapid fire plays, which well, we I'm like not to going, do. Like super, super fast either. But it's consistent, you know. Yeah. We can go up to him and be like. Your machine this time. Yep. Oh, there goes uh, Lex Luthor. He might push some of that. Yeah, Wonder Woman was tinkering on the edge there, so who knows? The only thing, well, there's a couple things I don't like about this, but one of the things I don't like about this type coin pusher is that the tokens always go over to the left because of the way the arm is. So you get a lot of play on the left side of the machine in the middle of the machine, but you don't get a lot of play on the right side of the machine, and that's why the cards all stack up there on the right hand side. So something to keep in mind if you're playing but you're doing pretty well on tickets and you still have 135 plays and we're up to 650 and counting so make sure you put your guesses in the comments about which coin pusher you think is going to reward more tickets it's also half price monday today right yep it is half price monday today that is partly while we're here doing this video because you can't go wrong with half price games. Apex here, at least at the Syracuse location, and I think at the other locations that they have, there's one in Massachusetts and one in Albany now, actually. I believe they all do uh, half price Mondays. And then Dave and Buster's is half price Wednesdays. But we'll have a separate video at some point in time about Dave and Buster's and how to maximize your tickets and everything there with coupons and half price day and all that good stuff. So be on the lookout for that in the future. You're a uh, under 100 plays now. Yay! Hooray! We just ate at, uh, where do we eat? What's it called? P.F. Chang's. P.F. Chang's. Delicious. So Aoni needs a nap. <laughs> delicious, but so filling. Now Aoni's tired. She came into Apex and she was like, if you take the 
the E and the X and you get rid of it and you put an N in front, it's a nap. <laughs> Probably the funniest thing I've said in a very long time. Ah, you're pretty funny. Uh, so <laughs> don't, funny. Don't push your luck. <laughs> oh, I wasn't. I'm just so tired. That's so cool. So full, so tired. And all you have to do is press this button. And I'm getting sick, so yay! <laughs> yes, very true, very true. I'm surprised that we have only gotten the one card. I would have thought maybe something else would have fallen, but... No, this is a DC coin push. I know. Card. You should know better. I know, but I figured maybe... Maybe something. But it doesn't matter where it is. So it's not like a reflection on the actual arcade itself. It's, it's just, just the machine, machine itself, yeah. The people who made this machine just... And the cards. Whoever was like, let's yeah. make it like the most durable, most slippery card ever. Bandai Namco. Their fault. Is it? Yep, Bandai Namco. Amusement America Incorporated. Oh man. That's who it's distributed by. It's also an 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 Demiro machine, because they use those tokens. I it's not like, an Elon machine. I feel like for a limited time they should have the Joker as the rare card, especially since. Because of the movie. movie. Well this is the second series. These are the newer cards. They've been out for a little while now though, but Alright, Auni's down to the last eight plays here. And we've only won one card, but we're not about cards right now, we're about tickets. We're gonna see how many tickets. You're at 889 and counting. And there it is, that's it. Hold on. So let's, let's wait see. for it to finish out here. Hold on, let's see. It's still counting. Are you gonna get past, uh, past 900? 900. Oh, no way, 900 even, huh? Oh, that would be nice. Okay. Looks like it. Woohoo! All right, so 900 tickets. So that's the goal to beat. So with 510 plays on the DC coin pusher, we're gonna go to the Willy Wonka coin pusher, put the same amount of plays on, 510, or as close as we can get. I think we can do 510, and uh, see if we get more than 900 tickets. So remember, put in the comments below which one you think it's gonna be. We'll go find out right now, so come along with us. Okay, it is Willy Wonka time now, and we just had another great conversation with one of the managers, a lot of fun. No, they don't hate us, they like us. Anyway, <laughs> 510 plays on the Willy Wonka, and it was 900 tickets over at uh, the DC. other DC, right? yeah. So here we go, let's see. We're already up to 20. But these plays do go a lot faster though. Yeah. And for those of you who are wondering, Yes, they did fix the uh, golden ticket. They did fix the golden ticket problem, yeah. They were appreciative that we pointed it out to them. Although, I do have to say, I like it more if it's like less times you can win the Willy Wonka card. It's more meaningful. Yeah, it's not like, oh, okay, we get another golden ticket. It's more like, oh my word, we got the golden ticket. So I'm just doing a nice spread here. I'm not going for anything particular. Just doing a nice spread, trying to win as many tokens as I can. Yeah, you're gonna, you've already gotten like three or four but cards. We're at 370 plays, so. As far as tickets go, I don't know about tickets. Cards, we'll definitely win more cards. Well, here's the thing with th this one, it's, uh, every shot doesn't necessarily get you something. Whereas the DC one, if every you. Shot does, yeah. Every shot either gets you one, two, three, or five. Plus, this one is so much more loud! That is true. I hope it's picking up my voice. <laughs> yeah, it does a good job from the back, so you should be fine. Alright, let's see where we are halfway through. We're almost at halfway. Jeez, that goes so much faster. What if we do win a golden ticket, though, just because... Ah, we did! Oh, no! Yeah. <laughs> you got it! <laughs> ah, it's all the way in the back. Now I gotta go for the golden ticket. I'm gonna go show the manager. Say, hey, sir! There's still a problem with your machine. <laughs> I think that I think we just get payout. I do. I, I do too. I don't know what they changed it to, but anyway, there it is. So let's see if I can do it in the next 200 and plays. 17 plays. Yeah. I'll stop here. We'll wait for the spin. See what we land on. Oh, that was gonna be like one thing. So we got five. So we have 215 plays. I'm up to 424 and counting. I think it's gonna be close. I think it's gonna be closer than maybe we thought. I think it's gonna be more over here. We'll see. Doopa, doopity, doop. Now I just really want to win that golden ticket. Because a couple more cards and 
like TV. Maybe we'll have enough for a whole set. Who knows? Uh, I don't know about that. Oh, wow. Yeah, we have a lot down there. Well, the golden ticket is 500, so at least we got an extra 500 tickets. But we're down to 130 plays. Make sure you're getting that corner. Giving it a good spread so we get as many tickets as we can. Right. Oh wow, that was beautiful. Alright, come on, Golden. Come on, at 57 plays. I wonder if it's gonna get stuck on that side portion. No, it's not. I don't think so. I have the faith. I have the faith in you! definitely go for like this area because there's tons of points there. Oh, that's it. Let's see. Oh, we got 10 more shots. We got 10 okay. more shots and we are at 700 and counting, so it's going to be close. Let's see if we get these next last 10 shots here. That's it. Hold on, hold on. Let's see if anything, okay. else, anything else might fall. No. Nope. Alright, that's going to be it. So, let's watch that. Oh, hold on. Oh, a couple more fell. Oh, it still owes us 280. Oh, this really? is gonna, yep. So we are gonna win more here, um, but we'll wait and then we'll show you here in a couple seconds what the actual total is gonna be. And then we'll also see if we have a full set because we have a ton of cards in there. So who knows? So we will be right back. So we're coming to the end. That's it. Right yep. there. 1,053. And actually, we have every single card that we need except for Grandpa Joe. Grandpa Joe. So we would say that for by far the Willy Wonka machine, as opposed to DC Point Push machine, we did get a little bit more in the way of tickets. But when it comes to the cards, I know we said we weren't doing cards, but just going to that next step, we definitely are get more cards and a better chance to get like a full set on the Willy Wonka than you would at the DC Coin Pusher, so. Plus that means more points. Right, so for sure, Willy Wonka is better for tickets and it's gonna be better for cards than the DC Coin Pusher. Just based on our evaluation here at Apex with 500 plays, 510 plays on each. So anyway, we're gonna win that uh, Grandpa Joe and then go turn those in, but you don't need to see that because you've already seen us win like 27 gold tickets on another video. That's never gonna happen again. But anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Let us know if you got it right in the comments below and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.